All right, you are still watching Ways. Now, Gym Day is an annual event celebrated on September 12th to promote overall well-being by motivating individuals to prioritize their health through increased physical activities and fostering healthy routines in their daily lives. It was founded by fitness enthusiasts from the My Fitness Sport Club in Estonia and Lat Latva Latvia in 2022 uh, it's a very new deal i like the day actually but yeah. i'm not a gym person i, love I hate the gym. I like the gym why so i'm not a or just a public space or no uh, so the way i love to work out is just take long walks so all those physical activity <laughs> and doing sit-ups, like it's really, really stressful for me. It gives me headaches, it gives me body aches, it gives me a lot of aches. I didn't know you were this soft too. Yeah, I am very soft. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I look tough, I'm not. Any little thing. I don't <laughs> like it. Like I don't this. like wow. it. So I'm not a gym person. So most, I mean, when I wanted to start like actively... Um, losing weight and trying to keep fit and all of that. I registered. For, I know several times that I've registered for a gym. I never used the subscription because it doesn't work for me. So I just stopped deceiving myself. I was going to go with the flow of people because it's following bad wagon effect. But the truth is, I know that if I pay, I will not use it. So I just stopped. I just stopped paying. Um, what works best for me is just taking very long walks and just having like seeing the scenery. So I think I'm very, very bored. I get easily bored when it's the same thing I'm seeing. Routine. Like, you know, like I'm in a gym, I'm in a constricted place. But you see, when I'm taking long walks, I can do 10,000 steps. I would have gone kilometers, you know, like that. So different scenery. And tomorrow when I want to take, I take another route like that. I really miss that. You know, moving out of Magodo was not uh, <laughs> was not particularly nice for me. I really miss that because I, I enjoy those walks. Those are the things that gives me joy. But gym, I'm not so much of a fan of gym. And I don't think I'm a particularly, I'm particularly that kind of person that would just wake up and say, I'm going to the gym. I don't know. It's not interesting for me. I've tried different things. I've t tried aerobics classes. I've tried salsa dancing. I've tried all this. It's not working for me. If it's not long walks, just count me out. I don't know. But Mary, tell me, what's your own motivation? Honestly, if someone had told me... <laughs> that I'm like that. That, no, 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 even about it, that I would become... A gym, a gym, gym rat. Honestly, I would never have believed it. I, I don't know how I ended up here. But I love it. I love it so much that... I went on... A run like while I was away, I made use of the gym. I, I saw was, you don't understand, it's, it's, it's so normal to me now. Like, and then challenging myself, you know, to go a step further is absolutely amazing. So, it's so it's like I look at it like, oh my god, if, if nothing else is going well for you, <laughs> at least this one, this one thing <laughs> you can do. Wow, this one thing you can do. So, I'm, I'm even thinking of, you know, taking it to the next level. So um, I want to work more on my figure. Um, I've looked at my tummy and I'm saying, can I really have abs? Can I actually uh, have But I think abs? you can, oh. yeah. Honestly, so in fact, I was actually yeah, that's, considering... That's going to be big. It will be huge. But I think if you get a personal fitness trainer... Alongside, but the only thing is the that diet is the, for me is the, the, the food. So I've, really the food. I've mastered the working out. Mm. I can no. I so can you know why I say abs is not food. I actually lost weight to a size six. I was heading to six, eight. I was heading to six. In fact, that was when I had to do a wake up call. That and see, this is not your, this is not your look. <laughs> or I look it like, <laughs> like <laughs> I had to a <laughs> You know. But I can tell you for free that even at that time when I had lost all the weight, mm. my, I didn't have any abs. So for you to really have abs, your tummy will go down flat, yes. But yeah, abs. Oh, contouring. That's yes, that's course. contouring. That's so you okay. must actually have a trainer that would, that would build that, that routine for you. But you see, that's where I now have a problem with gym people because, ah, those trainers. First of all, I don't like people touching me, you know, in the name of that you want to stretch my body. And again, <laughs> they just kind of like think that you should just do 
Oga is my body. <laughs> no, no, but you see, I mean, it's um, it's you having. No, you, you personally, I mm. like anything fitness. I love fitness, you know, and I think that um, when you find your why, it's going to be. It makes it so much easier. Mm. Or you, of course, it will be hard and not. Hard. I really don't like the gym. I like it, but I don't really like it because nowadays. I mean, it's just a gathering spot for most people. A gathering spot for most people, like, you know. They have, then, they have her gender. Yeah, exactly. Agenda. And then, <laughs> because I'm very allergic to smells, it's like, you know, that My odor, darling sister. And, you know. So I like to work out in the open space, you know, where there's fresh, where there's fresh air, air, you know. And then I like to run. <laughs> you know, running for me is how i get clarity mm. in a lot of things when i'm bothered about something and i i can cry nobody's looking at me mm. i can cry i can shout i can't but do funny anything. thing i can't even run because my knees are not running. friendly to me i love running when i was young you're too tall that's impressive <laughs> <laughs> i was in secondary school now so they say we're going to do running you know <laughs> no more i finished really was i studio now now we Cl uh, don't be I like I, two people had to hold me mm. to be because I couldn't move my legs. Wow. My legs are not strong enough for for running. You should you know? do workout for your legs. That's even the more reason I run away from the workout because my knee was happening me. No, but you should. You uh. need to intentionally make because you see your legs carry your weight. Mm. So, so if your legs, legs are not strong, <laughs> if your <laughs> legs I'm are not really strong, so surprised about this. Oh, but yeah. me, right? Yeah. I'm very active. Oh. If I want to lose weight now, mm -hmm. I know what to do. It's but it's really food. not about losing weight. Yeah, it's not losing weight. It's, it's actually the benefit. So, but now that's why I told yes. you. Yeah, pass the I told both of you now while we were in the makeup room, I want to get that treadmill because mm -hmm. that's the only thing. As long as it's working, I'm not running. But you like to dance, so why oh, don't you I love take to up dance. dancing? I don't know how that one. I don't like dancing. Dance. Really? You don't like dancing. Yes, um, dance. I'm not a fan of dance. <laughs> Rumba. <laughs> That's a lot of ah, I used to do rumba dance. Or... I used to do a lot of rumba dance. Rumba oh dance. God, when I was actively looking for mm. size ten or oh, aerobics. Oh yeah, quickly. Oh, let's enter what's in the news. We have three stories quickly. Mm. Um, let me take the Pengerson. The Pengerson one. Um, it says Pengerson reacts as Dangote refinery misses production deadline. Wow. Um, the 650,000 barrels per day Dangote refinery is yet to begin production after August commencement date earlier announced by the president Dangote, Aliku, um, Dangote Group, that's Aliko Dangote, while delivering his speech at the official commissioning of the refinery by former president um, Buhari in May. He said that um, Your Excellency's distinguished guest, our first product will be in the market before the end of July or beginning of August this year. However, no drop of refined petroleum product have, from the refinery has hit the market weeks after the promised production deadline. That's according to the findings of the punch. Um, the National Petroleum Company Limited, Garba Dean, in June said that the company would cut down its fuel import pro um, program in August once Dangote Refinery be um, began to push out the refinery um, brand. You see this particular story, eh? mm -hmm. it's quite interesting because I felt that that launch was rushed again because of this same um i want it to be in my administration that this thing happened yes mm -hmm. let it be said that it was when president buhari was in power and all of that because that, that's how i feel that that whole thing played Actually, out because they were not ready yeah. do you understand you're not ready you're not ready mm -hmm. But you know they had to just because you see so many like you see commissioning of a, a, an airport there's no runway you know those kind of funny funny things you know so I think this is just like one of those um, um, stories it says a, a top source among the major oil marketers Association of Nigeria also confirmed that the NMPCL had cut down the importation you know collaborating then while speaking to journalists so it was Dangote was supposed to like be the person to. Bridge to gap. bridge that gap of you know shortages or whatever it is that we are going through but here yeah, here we are all right so okay. mary i'll take um nigerian singer moba dies at 27. the nigerian artist known as ilerio lua ola dimeji aloba aka moba is dead the former malian, malian record signee reportedly died on tuesday today at the age of 27. 
it was known that he has been battling an old video of Bella Schmoder saying Mubad was battling mental issues, mental health issues recently resurfaced online minutes after the reported death of the singer. Information on the cause of his death and where he died as at the time of filing his report is sketchy and the details will be received later. Mm -hmm. You know, this is very sad. sad you very know, 27. Sad. Very sad. You know, um, his, yeah. He's not even started. Can't even say that's his prime. 27. No, he's not started life. You know, the, um, Sunday was suicide prevention day. You know, a, a lot of times people don't realize that you go through a lot of mental um, strain or mental weight. And, you know, sometimes. <laughs> It takes a, a lot of grace for you to be able to detect it because sometimes some people are able to mask that aspect of their life. So when I was listening to the lady, I was because I was on on the road, so I was listening in on a radio show when they were talking about mental wellness and you know how it's very important because again, um, suicide definitely must have it will be a build up of years of mental um, ill health where you're suppressing a lot of emotions and all of that before you just finally get to that point where you say that you're not just, um, you're not interested in life anymore so only god knows what you know if they are saying that he had mental issues, issues. i don't even know the guy so i don't i don't i don't know his song but it's just sad that you know a 27 year old person would just die okay. as well mm -hmm. okay so um i'll take this um sit at home has ended in the southeast mm -hmm. Um, as army establishes special forces to tackle insecurity, um, the chief of army staff, um, Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja, has said that the city tomb order enforced by the indigenous people of Biafra across the southeast states has ended. Um, IPOB in August 2021 commenced the sit at home order to demand the release of its leader, Enamde Kano, from prison. Um, Okay, so um, the order impacted the economy in the region and resulted in the loss of lives and properties of residents in the southeast. Um, speaking at the CO COAS combined second and third quarters conference in Abuja on Tuesday, Lagbaja said the menace ended as a result of the heightened efforts of his men and collaboration with relevant stakeholders. Um, I think this is fantastic, fantastic news. And he also said... I mean, law-abiding citizens of the region can now go about their businesses and everyday life. Mm. And um, their joint efforts with various government agencies will keep on, you know, quelling attempts made by criminals to disrupt economic mm. activities in the South. I mean, it's just about time. No, but you know this thing they've been saying is since that it has ended, it has ended, it is still not ending. Do you understand? This is not the first time we will hear that. That's even the army yeah. waited in. Well, now... Mm. They are, so maybe now with the um what's it called the intervention of the, the, the military, military maybe mm. but they have said this thing several times that it has ended you know and yet people go out and they still mm. attack them well hopefully mm. because it doesn't make any economic sense it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't make any economic monday, sense some I mean, people that even work monday to monday ah. all right so we'll take a break right yeah. let's discuss um our etiosa <laughs> stay with us so we'll be right back